Welcome to the lecture. If you want to become certified software professional and you want to accelerate your career, you want to stand out on the job interview, you have to pass SOLIDWORKS certification exam. How to take this exam and how to pass this exam, find out on the end of this lecture. If you find this video useful, click like and subscribe. In this lecture, we're going to show a new tool and this is Jog Band. A jog band consists of two bands created by using a single bending line. The sketch of the jog band must be a single line and it's not mandatory to be created through the entire length of the face. So let's show how this works. So let's go to this face. Let's create a new sketch. Like this. Let's select the line and let's create a line here. Somewhere here. Like this. So the line doesn't have to go through the entire length of this band. Now let's go here to the sheet metal and now we're going to select here jock like this as well here we have to select the fixed face so we can select the left side of this line or the right side let's select the left side like this and now here we can see the preview now here we have two bands the first band here and the second band here so the first band is here where we have a line and the second band here is with some offset distance and this offset distance is here, as you can see. So here we have a blind offset distance, 30 millimeters. We can change here direction like this, or we can go like this. As well here, we can change the band radius. We can uncheck use default radius. So let's go with three millimeters like this. Here we have also jog position. So we can go here with band center line. We can go material inside. We can go here material outside and you can go here bent outside as well as well here we have the jog angle we have a 90 degrees by the default let's go with 60 and we got this result or we can go for example with 130 like this this is also possible but let's go here with 90 degrees now let's go here and let's explain this offset distance because here we have dimension positions. Here we have three options. We have outside offset. We have here inside offset. Now we can see the difference. And here we have overall dimension. And as well, now we can see the changes. Now let's go here to the front view like this. And so if we change this, we can see here the changes. So let's go here to the first one, outside offset. So what is the outside offset? How is it measured? So the outside offset is measured from this edge here to this edge here, this one here. Then here we have inner offset. Inner offset is measured from this edge here to this edge here, to this inner edge. And the last option here, overall dimension, this one here is measured from this edge here to this edge here, like this. So you can select here any option that you want here. The first one, the second one, or the third one. So let's go here with outside offset, like this. Now here we have another option, and this is fixed projected length. So if this option is checked, this length is equal to this length here. So the result of the jog band here is equal to this one here, as you can see. The length is equal, so which means that here on bands, we had to add a material. If we don't want to add a material, if we want to only use this material that we have here, then we can go here with uncheck like this. And now we can see that this material here that was here is used here for this band, this one here and this one here. So you can go here with fixed projected length like this, or you can go without fixed projected length like this. So if you don't want to add some extra material to the band, then you can uncheck fixed projected length like this. Let's click OK here. And this is the result like this. And now if you look here on the feature manager design tree, here we have a job one. We can open this. Here is our sketch. We can edit this sketch. And here we have the jog band one and the jog band two like this. Now we're going to create a new sketch. So let's go in this face. Let's go normal two like this. Let's select the line. Let's create a line here like this. Let's go to the sheet metal. Let's go to the jock. Let's select the fixed face. Let's select this one here. 
and this is our result as you can see here and here we have a checked fixed projected length let's click ok and this is how you can use a jog band tool so make sure that you understand what is fixed projected length in the next lecture we're going to show another tool and that is ham feature if you're tired of watching on youtube videos and buying cheap courses who always leave you wishing and wanting for more and you want to have personal support to learn the SOLIDWORKS from the absolute zero to the professional level to improve and start your career, check the link below and visit our Super SOLIDWORKS Accelerator Academy. As well, if you like this video, click like and subscribe.